will appear on uh, the Space API channel. That will, is where all the rough cuts are going to end up uh, for this document. So if you want to see how this documentary is put together, you want to see all the notes and everything I put together, then you can do that there. That's where all that's going to be. And then eventually it's all going to migrate as the, as the finished package. It's going to go to Physics TV and appear as a documentary on Physics TV. So, yeah, you can sort of take a look and see how that's going. Uh, I've got everything organized here again so that uh, Adventures in the Library is going to start again. Uh, I'll probably do some shooting for it over the weekend. And that's, that's what I'm going to use the, week, the weekend for is to really catch up on and get some of the other products, those projects that have fallen behind. Uh, that's going to be, you, I'm going to use that sort of weekend, the weekend's uh, free schedule, the uh, uploading time, uh, to get everything, all that stuff done. The big problem that I'm running into now is I'm running out of hard drive space on uh, my main editing desk. And I'm running out of hard drive space in my main library, so I have nowhere to transfer it to, so I've got to see if I can work out a solution for the weekend uh, that will give me some more space to work on. I, I seem to uh, basically be doing uh, uh, taking up about uh, I think four gigabytes a day doing basically it's a uh, DVD drive, a DVD uh, of uh, videos uh, a day. So that 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 kind of adds up. So I'll see what I'll do. I'll see how I'm going to work this out, and uh, I'll kind of let you know on Monday uh, if things work out and how they worked out. But uh, that being said, uh, yeah, it's I'm going to end this segment now. And uh, I will see you in the next segment. All right, take it easy. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this segment of Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, I thought uh, I'd, uh, uh, for the weekend here, I'd sort of uh, give something light for Big Bang Theory RL for this uh, segment. And it has to do with uh, booktubes, uh, with uh, booktube and booktubers. And I came across, uh, as I was doing my stroll on uh, YouTube, I came across uh, one of the people, or the booktubers that I regularly follow. Uh, her name is, uh, her channel name is uh, uh, Book Rat Misty. And uh, she has uh, this one called uh, My Booktube Story. So uh, this is what she had to say. Hello, if you're just finding me, my name is Misty and I'm from thebookrat.com. Today I'm making a response to Bunny Kate's My Booktube story. Basically, Bunny asks all booktubers to contribute their booktube story, so how they got into the booktube community and what it is that makes them stay. That kind of clears it up. It's, it, it's uh, basically she's responding to another, uh, another, per another booktuber's uh, tag. And we'll take a look at this. Hey guys, I've been reading my comments. Thank you so much for everybody that had polite things to say on my little rant video yesterday. I honestly didn't mean for that video to get so... I don't know. I just got so like invested in it. I don't normally get upset about stupid stuff on the internet, but anyway... Thank you for everybody that's replied. I appreciate your comments so much. Every, you know, you all made me feel better about me and about my channel and all of that. And then um, it got me last night. It actually got me to thinking about some of the comments I've seen over the last week. People saying they really wanted to do a booktube channel, but they were too scared or they wanted to upload, you know, book videos, but they didn't think their videos would be good enough and all of that and I'm like you know dude if you want to join the booktube community all it takes is you know comment to a few people upload a video upload an intro people will find it and comment on it if you think your videos won't be good enough I, I honestly I think as long as you're talking about books it's good enough do you know what I mean I love that Priscilla who is the readables here on YouTube uploaded a video the other day talking about how much she loves the booktube community and then um, right after that E. Lizzie Books uploaded a video she's wanting people to send you know welcome to booktube messages to her so she can make like a montage 
and I thought that was a great idea and then last night I was thinking about these comments and I thought you know what would be absolutely amazing what if you know how YouTube does the my YouTube story for the big famous youtubers and the big partners they have on record like a little snippet of how they got going in YouTube and those are men as inspiration for all of the other people that are not as popular as them I thought it would be a great idea if we did that just within the booktube community so basically this video is like my booktube story and I want to do it as a tag I just I think it would be great if there was some place that new people could not only like see videos of people telling them you know welcome to the community but see people's stories and like meet people before or as they're uploading the videos or if they've uploaded a few videos and maybe aren't necessarily having the amount of views that they wanted they could actually come and watch our booktube story videos and take inspiration from that so this video is technically a tag but I want it to be like my booktube story like I want you to do a video response do it as a video response so all of the videos are kind of chain linked together and tell tell your story how did you come upon booktube why did you stay what is it that you get out of booktube that makes you keep doing booktube videos I think those type of videos will be very inspirational to new people or people that are very nervous about their channel or people that have even had their channel for a little while and aren't necessarily at the you know at the viewership that they want to be at I'm not talking necessarily about subscribers I'm talking about interaction and all of that if they can see other people's stories of how they started and why they stuck around and what it took for them to be happy with their channels that will give them inspiration to stick with their own channels do you know what I mean I I hope what I'm wanting to do is making sense I don't know how how else to explain it there are so many booktubers that I think are inspirational people that probably in their own mind don't even realize that they inspire people to make more videos so the people I'm gonna tag some people specifically because I really want them to do the tag Misty the book rat Jesse the reader Greg I know you left but you came back I forgive you I want you to do this tag too RJ Danny Lindsay Jen please do this tag people look up to you and I think it would be a great way for you to welcome new people to our community. Renee, Joseph, Elizzy, Elizabeth, Lizzie, can I just call you Liz? Sam, Harry, Brad, you guys are such an inspiration to me. Please do this tag, please. It would mean so much, I think, for the booktube community, for new people, for people that are wanting to get into doing the videos but just don't have really the courage to do it or they're afraid of the reaction. Eli and Dylan and most importantly you. I want you to do this tag. If you are watching this video and you have a booktube channel, please set aside an afternoon and film your booktube story. I want to know how you came about being on booktube. What was it about booktube that made you want to do the videos? And then once you started, what made you stick with it? And now that you've stuck with it, what do you get out of it? I mean, you must be getting something out of it or you wouldn't keep doing the videos. So what is it that keeps you posting? I want us all to inspire the new people to stick around. They're interested in it. Now they just have to get the guts up to do it. And you guys are so inspiring. You have no idea. I want to know your story and if I want to know it, if your story and seeing your face helps me to do this, then I know that you can help other people. So I want you to do this tag. For me, my booktube story, I've actually had my channel for a long time, but when I first started my channel, it wasn't about books. I was just kind of putting up random stuff. It was stuff about my kids or maybe scrapbooking or and stuff like that. And I think for probably the first two years, I only had like four subscribers. I don't even know who they were because they didn't even comment on my videos. So there was like no interaction. Because there was no interaction, I didn't feel like 
I should even mess with uploading stuff because nobody was watching. Do you know what I mean? Well, jump about a year of me not fooling around with YouTube. I didn't really watch videos or any of that. You know, I was thinking, I, I don't know anybody here that reads. I have one friend that reads, but she just borrows books, reads, brings them back. We don't discuss. There's not a book club in my area. There was really nowhere for me to talk to anybody about books. So one day I sat down and I pulled up YouTube and I searched for new book releases or something like that. And the video that it pulled up was uh, The Chapter Chicks. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love them. And then over on the side, YouTube would put like recommended videos. If you like this, you'd probably like this. And over there was Priscilla from The Readables. And I was like, oh my god, she's amazing. And then I thought, no, oh, you know, they're so awesome. At first I was thinking I could do this. And then when I saw Priscilla's videos, I was like, okay, maybe I can't do this. Because at the time I didn't know how to edit anything. I had a really crappy quality camera and back then it was before uh, Priscilla really got heavy into editing too but her videos still looked good she still edited good she just it they just weren't the quality that they are now so I thought okay well nobody's gonna want to see a country little old lady talk about books so I'm not going to do I'm not going to do this I'm not going to put book videos on my channel and then I saw I think I saw um, Melissa was her name Melissa it, she was metalhead bookworm I'm pretty sure her name is Melissa and I thought oh my she is amazing and then I saw is it Jess Jess at Tin Pan Alley and I'll link to all of these people down below um, when I saw Jess I was like I'm going to do this I am going to do this if she can do this why can't I do this? So I tried to put the fact that I was older by 20 years of everybody that I had seen on booktube behind me and I started making videos. My first few videos I wasn't even comfortable enough with my age and the fact that I'm you know I'm heavy. I, I was like nobody will watch my videos if they know what I look like. So I'll just hide what I look like and then maybe I'll get a few subscribers. So my first few book videos, I was not even in them. It was just like the camera shot of the book. And then the more I did, the more I realized I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk more. And it's it's hard to talk a lot when it's just a still, you're just shooting the cover of a book. It's hard to talk a lot about it. The video is kind of boring. So I thought, okay, I'll be in one. And then if I get if they get a, if I get a bunch of hate, then I won't make any more. And I made one. And not only did I not get a bunch of hate, I got a bunch of subscribers. And I was like, okay, maybe my face is not that bad. Maybe being old is not that bad. Maybe being a damn teal billy ain't so bad. You know what I mean? And it's just went from there. You know, the, every video I do, I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. Really, now I'm more comfortable in front of the camera because I know if I say something that's wrong or if I f some shit up, I can either beep it out or cut it out. Do you know what I mean? The more that you do videos, the more comfortable you are talking to the camera or talking to yourself. Once you get more comfortable with yourself, more of your own personality comes out through your video. And once people can start seeing who you are, they start subscribing and better than subscribing they start commenting I eat comments up it's like chocolate candy to me I would rather have 20 subscribers that comment than 10,000 that just subscribe and you never hear from them I feel like I've made some really good friends from within the booktube community because I started putting videos on YouTube about books uh, I, one of my best friends is Casey Hilton. I talk to her on the phone literally every night. I would never have met her had I not started putting videos on YouTube. And you know, I talked to Lindsay, me and Lindsay do the video chatty thing. So I feel like I've made real life friends even though they're over the internet. And I never would have met them, never would have met other people that love books as much as I do had I not started putting up those videos. I guess the point of my story is, in booktube, it doesn't matter how old you are, or what you look like, or what you sound like, all that matters is you and these. Because trust me when I say, if I can do this, you can so do this. You got this. Now go make some videos. Thanks for watching. See ya. 
Alright, so you can see that uh, what's uh, in this booktube tag is that uh, they want uh, the story of how did we come to be a booktuber. And uh, I, guess, I, I, don't, I don't think anyone sort of, uh, I don't know, from what I've been seeing, a lot of people just sort of stumbled in, in, into booktubing and didn't, didn't necessarily plan that, or, or thought that booktube would actually be a thing. Uh, but apparently it has now become a thing, and uh, the community is acting on its own to sort of uh, bring out this whole thing about BookTube. So BookTube isn't actually a site, it's actually a group within uh, a group of YouTubers, uh, within, uh, yeah, well, a group of YouTubers who uh, love uh, books, and they often do review about books, they talk about books, uh, they do videos about books, and uh, one of the... Uh, common uh, elements amongst the books, booktubers is that we all belong, uh, we all belong to uh, Goodreads, and, and I'll, I have, uh, if you look at my main channel, you'll see that uh, I've listed my uh, Goodreads uh, page, so you can go over to the main channel, the, main, the front page of the main channel, and you can see on the little, uh, on the little uh, bar, uh, sort of the, the side, uh, the sidebar, you can see, uh, and that's off to the left here. So I've got to figure out my side. <laughs> and it's off to the left here, it's on the side here, I have a listing of all of my, uh, other, other places, my your, your other URLs, uh, the links, and on there I have my link to Goodreads, including the Tumblr, uh, uh, well, and a couple of my Facebook pages and so on and so forth. So you can go check that out. Uh, I'm also a nerd fighter, so I guess uh, so. You have a nerd, nerd fighter to, uh, a, a nerd fighter group on uh, YouTube, and now you have the book the booktubers. So and I kind of I, I, I kind of stumbled into it because I do love I love books, and it, all the other booktubers that what, what I've been watching, uh, they're reading a lot of uh, fiction books. They're primarily fiction book readers, and I used to read fiction books, but I don't read fiction books that much anymore. Uh, I'd like to go back and read fiction books, but I really haven't had the time to do that. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not a booktuber. I am a booktuber because I live my entire life in a library. And for me, it's gone past the individual book things, and now, uh, rather than collecting books in terms of uh, buying a book by, on the individual side of things, uh, I now uh, go and try to build uh, entire sections of a library. And most of these sections of the library, uh, because the way research goes, uh, everything's electronic, so it's all on the computer, it's all, they're all uh, inter interconnected over the internet, so uh, as you build your sources, as you build your libraries, you interconnect to other libraries, I have materials, that you're interested in, your, uh, that you're interested in, and uh, you can kind of go from there. And uh, the one main library that I'm working on now is uh, the Byzantine and Antiquity Studies Institute, uh, and I'm, I've got a, I've got a fairly good, a fair good amount of material, but I want to start start organizing the material. Sometimes it just sort of so much material comes in. It just kind of you kind of shuffle it in, and it's not organized. And you have to go sit down and organize what you brought in, and that becomes your library as it becomes more accessible because you can go in and find where things are. But anyways, uh, back to my booktube story. Uh, well, specifically the booktube story, because that does have have a, have a bearing on the book my booktube experience and, and my introduction to booktube. It, is that I came in, in not from the fiction side of things, but I came in from the non-fiction side of things. I said, well, I, well, it shouldn't matter too much if I'm not doing fiction. Uh, and I think I'm one of. The, I, I would. I haven't seen anyone do non-fiction, but I'm gonna say that I'm one of the few who are doing non-fiction. I don't know if anyone else is doing non-fiction. If someone is doing non-fiction for book two, let me know. Or, or comments that you are doing nonfiction. Uh, some of the books I like to read, and I have pointed this out before, uh, <laughs> is uh, this is one called uh, Flat and Curve Space Times. Uh, this, this is basically the type of book that I like to read. 
Um, I have here uh, the Cosmic Code. And when I do go into uh, non fiction, uh, to fiction, I always like to pick up old books. Like, this is an old book from an old, old school library. Uh, the school was. It, 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 actually, here it is. It, it, well, there's two libraries. Um, one public library has tossed this book out. They were throwing the book out. And it was picked up uh, by a school, a private school. And then when the private school shut down, they were uh, throwing these books out. And so I figured, uh, why not pick this up? And so it's, a, it's an old book. And, and you can still see the timestamps in here uh, from the library. Uh, and the latest timestamp I can see on here is uh, April 23rd, uh, 1983. So 18, 1983 is uh, the last date on the book here that's, that's punched into the book. And the first date, the earliest date that's on here is uh, February 4th, uh, 1967. So this was in the public library from 1967. Uh, to uh, 1983, and then I picked this book up sometime later. Um, uh, and added it to my collection. The other books that I like to read and I have a lot of fun with, and again, this is not your typical reading stuff. It's uh, these are the dictionaries. I collect a lot of old dictionaries. I like collecting dictionaries. Uh, particularly the old, older ones. What happens is that when you want to study uh, the history of a word, uh, you can go into your standard, uh, you can go into your standard dictionary and look up a particular word, and it will tell you what it means. But when you buy a new dictionary, uh, even though it has the etymology in there, uh, it's been altered. It's been edited, and a lot of times words have. have because the way words have their, have their meanings change and their usage over time, some words come out of the dictionary or some, you know, the common usage, right, the main usage changes. So if you want to see how somebody thought the words they were using back uh, at, at, a bit, at, let's say, 1960s, you want to understand their vernacular, understand their diction and how they used the, how they used their words, then you would go back and you would find a dictionary that covers the, the 1960s. If you want to understand the 50s, you would go buy and get a dictionary that covers the 1950s. And I've got dictionaries that go all the way back to uh, 1911. So I can do uh, a historical search on the usage of words uh, all the way back to uh, uh, 19, uh, uh, 1911. So. Basically, I go back as far as 1900 uh, in terms of understanding how language was used. Uh, it's uh, the conventions that were thought of, that you know, what they believed, what they thought of, how, how they thought the society should be. In other words, their thoughts and beliefs can be seen inside of how the dictionary is actually put together in terms of what they see, what they don't see as reality in, 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 the, in their time frame. So that's how I get into books. Uh, then on the history side of things, uh, one of my favorite books is uh, uh, Winston Chur is, is actually by Winston Churchill. Uh, if you're, and I just, I've done this, I've done a lot of studying on World War II uh, for history, and in terms of a lot of research. And as I realized that I need to start reading things firsthand and trying to find first-hand sources, and you can do this in the research library. You can find first-hand sources. I went in and uh, picked up uh, again another library was tossing this out, so I went and found and found this book here. It was uh, basically all the works of uh, Winston Churchill, and he describes all of World War II. He describes he's got his own uh, he's got the autobiography there, and there's a lot of really interesting information when you read it. It gives you a whole new perspective to World War II that maybe you didn't think of before. And so, uh, I guess this is where my reading is right now. It, 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 I spend an, I spend about uh, twelve. Well, right now, uh, my days I'm doing sixteen-hour days of uh, studying and research. So that kind of gives you the idea of where my studying and re you know the amount of reading that I do. 
And you'll see on my Goodreads that uh, I'm listed as a librarian. And that's because, uh, yeah, that's, I, I live in a library. I, I, I'm here 24-7. Uh, it, when I get too tired after, the, uh, after, uh, after a 16-hour day, uh, there's no way I'm going to drive to my house. And, and, and uh, I do have a house uh, with my parents that's uh, somewhat down the street, about 10 minutes away from here. But I'm too tired to go home afterwards, so I just roll over and uh, uh, go to sleep uh, in this room here. This is the bed right next to me here. This is my reading room and bedroom. And... Uh, this is sort of my book life, and I had been looking for people who were book who, who were book people, and I didn't think I'd actually find anyone like that. But uh, as I was sort of strolling around YouTube, I began finding them. I found first at first I found the Nerd Fighters, and then after uh, finding the Nerd Fighters, I found uh, the various different book the uh, the booktubers, and uh, you know it, it started off slow, and then now is becoming more and more. So that's my basically my booktube story. It's not anything substantial in terms of uh, it, it, or rate, but it's sort of, you know, I said it's, it's a, uh, how should I put this? It's a, a, a sort of that I'm there now. I've, I, I've, I'm just now sort of getting into the community. I'm looking more and more at the community and seeing what they're doing, uh, how they put together their book videos. Uh, I decided rather than doing individual uh, videos on books, I'm going to roll it into uh, my reality show, Big Bang Theory. So that's why it's in this segment here, the way it is. In other words, uh, it's going to be part because books are so much part of my life. It's going to be part of uh, of every not every episode. Of, it's going to be part of Big Bang Theory. So if I'm not specifically doing the booktube stuff. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my research. I'm going to be talking about the different things that I'm looking into. Uh, it will be included in uh, included in this will be the open discussions, like the one we're having on uh, that initiated a while ago. Uh, created, uh, it was started by another YouTuber who put out, and she's a young girl. And I, I give I don't want to rain on people's parades. I want people to be feel free to put out their their expressions and so on and so forth. But you do have, you do, uh, uh, if you're going to put out an opinion, expect to have a comment uh, or a reply back to your opinion. Because your opinion is your opinion, and other people will have opposing or differing opinions. And just because someone has an opposing or a differing opinion doesn't mean that they hate you. It doesn't mean that you're not a nice person or anything like that. It just simply means that you have a differing opinion. That's all. And so what I've done is I've gone from that with that book tubers, uh, and it's basically her, her name is MC. Uh, it's from Trust Me I'm Weird, and she uh, apparently has uh, some issues with uh, being gay and homosexuality. I'm not going to. This is not saying for or against. I'm just going to say that these are things that have been sort of crossing her mind. You can go to her web, her YouTube channel, Trust Me I'm Weird and see for yourself what she has to say and where she is on this particular issue. And uh, I post, I began a dis open discussion uh, based on her uh, video, uh, what others believe. And so uh, that involved a significant amount of research because rather than simply giving my opinion, uh, what I'm doing is I'm bringing forward some of the research uh, and I'm keeping the uh, comments that I make, the sort of the, the response, as academic as possible, and trying to throw out as much information as possible. But uh, but it, you'll see from my videos that uh, I'm not a standard YouTuber. Uh, most standard YouTubers will have uh, length of their videos. Six minutes is considered to be long where mine is now I'm at a half hour format and the reason why I'm at a half hour format is that this is aiming to uh, I'm aiming to be a, a half hour format uh, reality show but the thing is it's difficult to maintain that half hour that exact half hour so it's going to be approximately a half hour sometimes it's going to be a little more sometimes it's going to be a little less uh, sometimes I should say it's going to be a little more or a little less it really depends on uh, on how things 
end up working out. But anyway, uh, the book tube, in terms of my reading, is going to be throughout Big Bang Theory or out. Sometimes there are going to be specific sections on book, book tubing. You'll see the uh, graphic uh, up here to the right will uh, we'll say book tube. And when you see the uh, book tube graphic, uh, you'll know that they're specifically in uh, that, that book tube. In, in, uh, book tuber. Uh, Booktuber content is specifically in there, so yeah, that, that's my story on Booktube. This is me on Booktube, uh, 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 being a Booktuber. It's uh, sort of integral to my life. It's also part of being, I guess, because John Green and the Nerd Fighters are also about being book, uh, about being uh, about uh, reading and, and books and so on. And so, forth. so I guess you can consider it to be the, the Nerd Fighter. Nerd fighting and, and being a nerd fighter in the DF, uh, DFTBA, don't forget to be awesome today, something like that. Uh, I can't exactly remember the uh, thing, the exact, uh, uh, review, you know, the exact thing it is. My mind is so tired today, so, and at the end of the week. Uh, yeah, so I said, booktube, nerd fighter. Uh, I'll put stuff in there for, uh, uh, I'm going to be doing more booktube stuff, but I'll mention and comment as I go around the nerd fighting, nerd fighting channels. I'll mention stuff on there as well. So, we'll have a fair good amount of, we'll have a good amount of content coming out here. Anyways, uh, that's it for this segment. I hope, uh, anyone who comes across this tag, they'll get into the tag as well. Tags are, uh, well, it's basically a uh, YouTube version of the game tag. If someone touches it, touches you, you're it. And that means you have to produce a video. So that's kind of the way things go. So I'm going to tag uh, anyone who is watching this video. If you're a booktuber or want to be a booktuber and haven't created a video, uh, well, if you're a booktuber and you've got a video and you want to do a response to this video, uh, to, to my uh, 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 episode, this episode here, you can do that. If you want to, if you're not a booktuber but want to be a booktuber and haven't done a video yet, this is your chance to make your own video. To say hi. Anyways, that's it for this segment. Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.